Here's my electrical engineering components tier list. Number one, the resistor. The single most used component in existence, and even when you're not using it, it's still technically there. Solid B tier. Number two, diode. The versatility of the diode is crazy. It exists in so many circuits that you might think it's a resistor. You got light emitting diodes, shot key diodes, zener diodes, photo diodes, ferractor diodes, and many more. I would give it a B tier, but electro boom would turn me into a full bridge rectifier, so it gets an A tier. Number three, inductor. Annoying, ever present, and it makes its way into my physics classes. I'm giving it a C tier and that is generous. Number four, capacitor, the goat of the electrical engineering world, and you can't find a circuit nowadays without seeing 30 bypass capacitors. A tier all the way. Number five, fuse, often underappreciated in the electrical engineering world, probably because it is a less efficient resistor that gets praised for overheating. B plus because it's better than the resistor, but it's no diode. Number six, connectors. I'm grouping all connectors together at this point to show how insane they are. We have 10 different connectors for every different kind of connection that needs to be made. If I were to run for president, I would run on the campaign of only allowing mini USB connector types. Mini USB because I have 50 of them for no reason. Number seven, bipolar junction transistor. If you were to ask me prior to college, I would have given this an S tier, but I've since learned they are not the goat. It is merely a sheep in goat's clothing. It is clinging on to the MOSFET's fame and it needs to go, D tier. Number eight, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Seeing as I would not be able to make this video if it were not for this component, A tier. Not S tier because I've never been burned more by any other component. Number nine, relay. I'm going to give this a plus tier but not because the component is the best but because it's trying its best if i ever need a crappy way to turn something that is high power on i know where to go no other component could give me that comfort without costing more than my last paycheck number 10 linear voltage regulators they are amazing until you need any amount of power efficiency c tier number 11 buck boost converters the profit for any electronics hobbyist that's looking for a voltage greater than 5 volts these are amazing for when i want to power my house on a 3 volt coin cell battery s tier number 12 transformer the main reason i want to take apart my microwave a tier number 13 my girlfriend the reason i have not taken apart my microwave s tier 